Hello and welcome to another Minute with Matt. I'm Matt with New Life Church and I'm continuing our short series of short Bible studies based on the book of Matthew. We're uh, picking up the triumphal entry, Ch Matthew chapter 21, starting with verse 7. The previous one, uh, the disciples brought the donkey and colt and uh, colt with, with so, uh, and it was in fulfillment of a scripture from the Old Testament. So verse 7 says, They brought the donkey and colt, and laid their clothes on them, and set him on them. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road. Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then a multitude, then the multitude, that's a lot of people. It's not just a few people, it's not just three or four, it's not just a dozen, it's just a multitude. A very great multitude. You to picture it. Spread their clothes on the road. Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. This is Palm Sunday. Then the multitudes who went before those, before and those who followed, cried out, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! And uh, some of you may not realize the word Hosanna, which is in a lot of songs at this point. What it means is save us quickly, save us soon. They were really asking for him to overthrow the Romans. Now what he would do is save them from their sins. He'd die on the cross a week later to save them from their sins. For anyone who believes, just trust him, follows what the Bible says. Says with the mouth of the Lord Jesus and believes in the heart that God raised him from the dead. But they are just saying, save us quickly. And saying, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So verse 10 says, and when he had come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved. I mean, they see this great procession. Saying, who is this? So the multitude said, this is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. And therein lies a little problem. Yes, some called Jesus a prophet, a man with a purpose, but he was a lot more than that. Jesus is God in the flesh, the Messiah, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He was just a week away from crucifixion there. He wasn't just a prophet. Sometimes I like to point out the multitudes were greeting him like this, welcoming him into Jerusalem. But a week later, the multitudes were shouting, crucify him. They didn't realize that he's a lot more than a prophet. But he is. My master, he should be yours too. He's our savior. And if he's not your, if he's not your Lord yet, it's very easy to ask him into your heart. Romans 10, 9 says, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God's raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. You don't have to uh, crawl around a church on your knees. You don't have to give a million dollars in the offering. You don't need to whip yourself. There are some people who do that. You just confess and believe. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. He wants to save you. It's a, salvation is a gift that's right there for you, all wrapped up. All you have to do is open it. Receive it. And I beg you to do that. If you're not saved, please. If you're confused by any of this, if you just... Want well, to know what I'm talking about? Just please contact us. There's lots of ways to contact us. Right there. Right there, wherever you're watching this video. If it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook, or any other place. There's our contact information. A phone, phone number, an email address. Address. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't hesitate. If this has been a blessing to you, uh, Please like, share, and subscribe. 
And until next time, go with God.